So welcome to the third video in the material design and polymer series. In this video we're going to be looking at a few different things. We're going to be looking at radio buttons, check boxes and toggle buttons. And these are all obviously types of form inputs. So in this video we'll start with radio buttons. So to create a radio button it's pretty simple. It's just paper-radio-button. And since this is a uh, paper element we've already imported them all here. So uh, there's nothing else to do there. And you'll see in our live preview now we have in fact got a radio button and it is animated as you would expect. We can then also add a, uh, a name tag to it. And this is what we use as like an identifier if we need to identify this particular radio button on the page. And usually you'd name this according to its option. So in this I'll have a list of colors so I'll have green. And then I'll set a label for it. And this is the text that goes alongside it, literally the label and this will be green and you'll see right there there is our radio button and of course having one radio button is kind of pointless so let's duplicate this three times and we'll create red red again and then uh, blue and then blue again and you'll see now we obviously have three radio buttons next to each other but the issue here is when we check them the others aren't checked. They are all in separate groups. They are not, the page doesn't understand them as being all together. So therefore they're not unchecking each other. So to put them in a group, just indent those. And we'll create a paper-radio-group. And then the closing tag should go after the final radio button. Now they're in a group and you can see there's now a bit of a padding between them all just for uh, display purposes and now you see they uncheck each other when you check on one. The final thing we can do here is when you first start the app none of them are checked so we can add one that's checked by default by going selected equals and then put the name so I'll put green and there you go the green is now selected but we can of course change this the next element we'll look at are checkboxes. Like radio buttons, these are really simple. It's just paper-checkbox. And then right there you have a checkbox. And of course that is animated as well. Basically everything's animated. And then again we can also add a name for this. So I'll put it as terms. And then a label for I agree to the terms and conditions. Like so. And there's your checkbox. So again really simple stuff. The final thing I will look at in this video are toggle buttons and these are literally just paper dash toggle dash button and you see right there we have this sort of switch which goes green if it's on and clear if it's off but for this one we can't simply add a label to it like we did for the other stuff we can't like this doesn't work um, and this one we actually have to create the label as a completely separate element ourselves. so to do this I'm gonna just delete that I will create a div with a horizontal layout, literally just like that. And then inside of this we'll have a div with flex. And what this div flex means is the flex part means that it takes up the rest of the horizontal space that is remaining. So here I'll put allow updates for example. So that acts as the label. And then next to here we'll have our paper-toggle-button. And you see, because this is uh, flex, this takes up the rest of the space, and the paper toggle was taking up its own little space. If we didn't have flex, it would just do that, which obviously we don't want. So I'm gonna leave this video here, really simple stuff, just a few uh, elements for your form. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe if you found this useful, and I'll see you in the next video.